Welcome back to the Retaining Wall DIY Vlog. I'm Robin Hartle. The landscapers are several courses up on our wall at this point. As we mentioned in the previous video, our retaining wall blocks have a lip on the back. This locks the blocks in place and keeps the wall from being pushed forward. My cat Sid has been testing out the wall during the process and I think he believes it is being built especially for him. It will make a nice platform for him to view the wildlife below. Concrete adhesive is used on the blocks to keep them from being knocked off. And then after the last course is complete, the wall is finished off with these cap blocks. They are a third of the rest of the blocks and used as a decorative finish. Well, when it's all done, I will have this little area back here to plant whatever I want. I think because the backyard is very wild, I will put this wildflower mix in here to attract hummingbirds and butterflies. It'll be a beautiful way to accent the wall and bring in some fun friends at the same time. This is the finished retaining wall. It seems so much bigger from down here. The retaining wall is all finished and now for the last part I am just uh, adding some loose garden soil behind the retaining wall so that I can uh, throw down my wildflower mix and then I'll have something blooming back here in between my walkway and the retaining wall. Well I hope you learned something uh, useful about retaining walls in this uh, DIY vlog. Uh, join me for my next DIY vlog. Uh, who knows? I may still be out here doing another project outside while the summer is still happening. I'm Robin Hartle. Thanks for watching.